yes, yes, y'all. You tuned into KDRT with Kerwa C. And also got Tiano right here next to me. After that is Jeremiah and Tracy and Paven. And last but not least, Michelle. We're about to rock. We're about to tell a little story about where we are from. You're listening to K-Earth 101. Tune in with me, Miss Connection, on your way to wherever you're going. You're right where you're supposed to be because we are about to play a mix of tunes perfect for an afternoon commute. Sit back, relax, and enjoy those wide open roads, warm California breeze, and cruising down the coast. Now, when you're speeding on by, remember that each car you see is filled with so much life and love. So give a smile this holiday season and enjoy the drive. But Miss Connection was wrong about one important factor. Those wide open roads... And that changed everything. I told you hey. to take the back roads. Now we're stuck in traffic. She lets go a sigh and puts her chair back a few notches to relax, knowing she's going to be in this car for a long time. The boy ignores her remarks and proceeds to turn up the volume for the radio. You're listening to 98.7, and we're back with a special traffic report for those of you who are traveling back home for Thanksgiving. For those of you who are traveling on the 405, you better get comfortable because there has been an accident near the causeway causing a huge backup. We'll be back in a few moments on further updates about the traffic. Oh, great. An accident. How perfect. If you just listened to me and took the back roads, we wouldn't be in this mess. This mess? What do you mean this mess? First of all... It doesn't even matter if you took the back roads because there was an accident on the freeway. There was no way around it. And second, if you didn't take your sweet little time getting ready, you would have made it home a little earlier and would have avoided all this BS. Oh, great. Look at this guy trying to cut me off. Don't blame me for trying to look pretty for your mother. Whatever. I really don't know why we're arguing right now, especially about me not taking the back roads. It doesn't even matter. We're in this mess. Let's just deal with it. I feel like we're going to be just stuck here for hours. I'm sick and tired of your attitude. I don't know how I'm going to handle being stuck with you in this car for God knows how long. You know what? I'm sick and tired of you. I'm sick and tired of you nagging at me. I'm sick and tired of you always trying to find little things to ar- about me to argue about. I'm sick and tired of you always for always blaming me for everything. If you're so sick and tired of me, what if I got out this car right now and go back home and spend Thanksgiving alone? Go ahead. I don't care. Ooh. I'm sick and tired of this relationship. This isn't working. All we do is argue, and clearly I'm not happy right now. Maybe you just liked me when I, was, when I was on my ass because it made you feel better about yourself. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> I really can't believe you're doing this. After all we've been through, you're really doing this now? I don't know. Bye, Felicia. Wait, wait. This is dumb. Please get back in the car. No. God damn it. Could you please get back in the car so we can talk about this instead of running around the 405? You said it. We're done. I was just... You were just what? I don't know. Exactly. Goodbye and have a happy Thanksgiving. Good riddance. Ah, is she walking on the freeway? Walking on the freeway? Yeah, look right there. Gee, there's too much doggone traffic. Sir Jeffrey, Sir Jeffrey, just make sure you get me to my gig on time, whether you hit the girl or not. I cannot miss this rehearsal before the show. I have to be spot on. Do you know how difficult it is to hit those notes? From the lowest of the low, like Frank Sinatra, then climb back up that ladder and hit that C5 like Mariah Carey without proper practice? Look, 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 ma'am. I used to sing back in the day, okay? Back in the day, we didn't know no, we didn't need no band, no drums, hell, no microphones. Even okay, you know what? You know what we used? These pitter patters right here. Would you watch the row, please, and put those hands at 10 and 2? Sorry about that, man. Sometimes I get carried away. Thinking about those days I used to love. Love, you don't shut that hole in your face and just get me to my destination. My rehearsal will be starting any minute now. Ma'am, I hate to break it to you. But we probably won't be there for another hour. What? An hour? I need to make my dress rehearsal or else... I know, I I know, I know. Or else you won't be able to hit the lowest of the low notes like Frank Sinatra. Then climb back up to the ladder and hit that B5. That's a C5. Oh, whatever. B5, C5, high C. It's all the same to me. Just like rehearsing anywhere is all the time. So you might as well hit those pretty little notes right here in this car unless you need all that 
idle platoony nonsense they have out here today. I mean no life. such thing. We didn't prove it. I don't have time for that. Since I'm going to be late, I need to try to do my makeup now. It's more important than singing in a car with a nincompoot. Whoa. Oh, oh no. What is the problem? It's a doggy dog world out here on the 405. Listen, man. if you're not fit to drive this limousine properly, then I think you ought to get. I've got sunshine on a car. Oh, give me a break. Oh. Oh, man, I almost got it. It fell in this crack, man. Here, hold the wheel. If you don't get it quick, it's going to burn a fat hole in your carpet, dude. Oh, it's right there. Oh, shh. Watch the road, man. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I almost hit that limo, man. Your insurance still not paid? Nah, man. Remember the dude we met at La Jolla? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Emerald Triangle. Yup, well, last week he called me up telling me that he had some good stuff. And he was trying to get rid of it before heading back north for the holidays. Yeah. He said he dug my energy so much that he wanted to hook me up with it for a discounted price. The whole pack for five bills. Really? Yeah, but now I can't pay my bills. What you mean? Well, when he came to drop the off, off the stuff, he was in such a hurry. I should have been on my P's and Q's when he pulled out the bag. No, I should have been on my P's and Q's, but when he pulled out the bag, I didn't think much of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right, man. He told me the stuff was he a heavy hybrid called pizza dough. Pizza dough? Stuff looked good, too. And for the price, I wanted to make this deal happen before he changed his mind. Anyways, I handed him the scratch, and he handed me the stash. Then he jet like Tilla. I went back to my spot, happy as a lark. Opened the bag, grabbed a handful, rolled me up something nice, started to break it up, and realized these nugs were hard as rocks. Finally broke it down, rolled it up, and put it to the torch. And man, this stuff was oregano. <laughs> I think the dude used Elmer's glue, too, to get it to look like nugs. Some of it was still wet. Damn, that sucks, man. Now I'm stuck with 16 ounces of oregano. I need, some, I need to find someone to pass this stuff on to. Hey, your auntie still smoking? What? Hey, watch out. Hide the stash! What is the deal with all this traffic? We're going to be late for your soccer game. No. no. Mom, you have to get us there on time. I know. I didn't, didn't think the four. I didn't think the four or five would be this backed up right now. We're going to be late, and they put me in charge of bringing all the equipment. Are we almost there yet? I'm bored. I'm hungry. Can we sing Baby Shark? No, that song drives me nuts. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh, I don't feel very good. What? No. I well, here, I, let me... I think I'm going to throw up. No, no, just hold on. I'm getting a bag. Uh, Are they honking at me? Hey, I've got a sick kid back here. Move it, lady. Oh, oh no, I, I really don't feel well. Just, just hold, Jeremiah. Here, take this, just in case. Mm, never mind. I feel I feel better now. Seriously? Okay, great. Mom, I think I forgot my cleats. What? And my shin guards. Are you serious right now? We have to go back and get them. We can't go anywhere. We're stuck in this traffic. Welcome back to KOST 103.5. Since there is a heavy traffic on the road, maybe we should have a little chat about the traffic safety. We're here to share with you some helpful tips when you are out and on the road. For those, you, for those of you who are driving before you hit the road, the first thing you do, buckle your seatbelt. Follow the speed limit, slow down and stop when you see a stop sign. No texting while driving, no drink and drive, no drug and drive. For those of you who are stuck in traffic right now, don't get angry. No complaints, stay calm and turn on some music. It won't get any better even if you keep on honking or even get out of the car and start yelling. There will always be something happening. Expect it as part of life. Getting angry is normal, but just relax and take a deep breath. Remember, you cannot control the traffic and how other people drive, but it is your responsibility to drive safe. To avoid this b bad traffic, maybe try to leave home early next time. Hope everyone have a good day and drive safe.
Hello, we are Tea Time, and this is Three's a Crowd. Ooh, I really hope John notices me tonight. Maggie, come on, let's go. I don't want to be in this costume any longer than I already have to be. Coming, I'm coming. Ugh, finally. And of course you're an angel. A sexy angel. Maggie, that's not how you do sexy. I am how you do sexy. A devil costume is anything but sexy. Not tonight, please, Mag. <clears throat> chug, chug, chug. Ooh! Go, chug, go, go. That John is looking mighty fine in that police officer uniform. Sarah! Maggie, come on, he is fine in anything. He might even be finer with his clothes off. Oh. Sarah, stop it. Killjoy. Hey, look, there's Jessica. What's up, fam? Love your costume. Did, they make, did you make the wings yourself? Oh, thanks. I watched a video on YouTube. It was pretty fun to create. Love that. All right, now let's get a drink. I'm not drinking tonight. Well, I'm getting one. That was strong. Ooh, here comes John. John, oh, hello. Wait, Sarah. And I'm alone again. You know, you won't be alone if you just talk to people. Thanks, but I don't need your help. Sss. Maggie, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Well, I've been sitting in the living room waiting for you. Well, I hope you had fun just sitting here. Talk to any cute guys. No, did you screw any guys? Not yet. Can we go now? No, I'm staying. Have Jessica drive you home. She didn't even drink tonight. <laughs> Maggie can't know this. Maggie? What does this have to do with Maggie? Yeah, dude, she's liked you ever since the beginning of freshman year. Well, it's probably not a great thing I screwed her cousin. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, never mind. I don't want to know. Adios. Two weeks later. <laughs> hey, Maggie, are you coming to John's party this weekend? <clears throat> no, wait. John is having a party? For what? Because it's John, and if he wants to have a party, he can have a party. And a party is a party. Are you coming with me or not? Um, sure. Okay, but if you're coming, can you please try and have fun? And look, I don't know, cute? Sarah, that's rude. Yeah, but effective. What? Go, 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 go. Sarah, what's up? Drinks? Yes, please. Oh, Maggie, you're going to need this. Please, no. Mm. Oof, thanks. That was disgusting. You get used to it. Come on. Sarah, can you? Hey, wait. Ugh, whatever. I'm going to sit down for a second. Hey, you're right, Maggie? Peachy, please don't call me that. I was just trying... Hey, ladies. Hey, John. I, I gotta go. Maggie, right? Yeah, hi. Having fun tonight? Oh, I don't know. Sarah kind of just left me out here. Oh, well, come on inside. We got beer pong. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back.
Oh, John, you are something. Yeah, baby. Sarah? Maggie? Oh, I can't believe you. I, oh. Maggie, wait, can I just? I can't believe Sarah would do this. Hey, what's going on here? Why is she here? Your cousin got kicked out of the house. We are letting her stay here for a while. Great. What did you do now? Maggie! No, stop it. Jessica needs all the support she can get. Why? Because I'm pregnant. No freaking way. By who? By this guy. He's name. <laughs> Maggie, I need to talk to you. Whoa, what's going on in here? I do not want to see you, see you, let alone talk to you. Wait, girls. No, no more waiting. But wait, Maggie, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Get out, Sarah. Mm, guys? What? what? He is here. Who is? Jessica's baby daddy. No way. My cousin got knocked up by John, the boy I really like. Are you... Uh! Wait, you like him? Not sure anymore. Well, dang. Shh. Hey, Jessica. Sarah. Maggie. Well, this will be a fun night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this concludes. And that's it. That's all we got. Good afternoon, Davis. This is Adriana, and we're on 95.7 FM KDRT, where the grassroots grow. And this is DJ KC125 coming at you live. So I hope you all are ready and uh, to take flight to outer space, because we got a special treat for you all by a little group called FOMOS with a beautiful play, a nice romantic novella, mixed with a little action adventure, and just a tad bit of comedy. So look to the moons and stay tuned. Davis, Davis, Davis. Wow, 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 wow. Alarm detected in zone 51. Should I go check that out? Uh, spaceships aren't supposed to make that sound, right? No, we're fine. That happens sometimes. You sure? Yeah, that happens all the time. No worries. Uh, oh, ca Captain V, welcome back to the bridge. Y here's the coffee you asked for. Thank you. Is there anything to report, Officer Alexis? Nah, that alarm for Zone 51 is acting up again. I'm not going to bother to check up on it. Mm, I see. Well, if the problem persists, follow protocol. I'm sure it's fine. I will return to sea Seaboard. I'll be tied up in porn communications with Mars through the evening cycle. Notify me of only code greens. We are on a trajectory and should not encounter any issues. After all, this is a second wave Mars relocation ship, top of the line. It runs itself. Just follow protocol. Yes, yes Captain. Captain. I'm off then. Do not expect me for meal three. So as I was saying, I heard that Horatio stole food from the cafeteria again. He stole about... Alarm detected in zone 51. So as I was saying again, he stole about four pieces of bread, two puddings, and a jello shot. A jello shot? What does he even need that food for? I have no idea. <laughs> well, he's in the brig now. He probably won't get out until we land on Mars. Who knows what will happen to him when we get there. So how's your family doing? Oh, they're great. Uh, here, uh, this is them. Wow, your sister's so pretty, and your baby brother looks so grown up now. Yeah, I know. Um, he's studying over uh, at the uh, Lunar Academy on Phobos, if you can believe it. Uh, I'm planning on visiting him after this trip. Do you have any plans once you get to Rosenthal? Not really. I just want to see how it would be like to be on Mars. Oh, you've never actually gone to ground? Uh, it's pretty cool of that down wow. there. Critical alarm detected in zone 51. 
Hey, 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 you can't be in here. This is the bridge. Uh, passengers stay below deck. Is no one going to do something about that alarm? I've been hearing it for the past few hours. I've seen no one respond to it. What's your name, passenger? Look, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's, it's Bucky, but definitely something does not sound right to me. What's going on? Alarm. Alarm. See, alarm. Listen, sir, we've got this under control. Exit this sector immediately. Uh, okay. Huh? Haven't felt that before. It was two pieces of bread, and I had no idea how that pudding got there. I can't believe they're keeping me here in, with criminals like you. It's not bad in here, is it? It could be worse. At least I got my knife with me. <laughs> yeah, could be worse. My ass. Those guards picked me up by the scruff of my shirt and tossed me in here. You, you were sleeping, but they made a hell of a ruckus. All they did was read off some tablet about my shipwrights or something. I didn't care much, but because I know this was unjust. Do you know how long I'm going to be stuck in here? It depends. It ranges from a couple of hours to about four months. With your luck, it'll probably be the latter. Four months? That's all the way until we reach Mars. While everyone's out there having the time of their lives on this fancy spaceship, I'll be sitting in here with you for three stinking lousy pieces of bread. And a pudding cup. They weren't even that good. They should have at least given me time off for how bad the food was. What do they feed us in here, anyways? I got a jar of worms yesterday. Best thing I've had in a long time. Worms? <laughs> hey! 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 You cannot be feeding me worms in here. There are rules, laws you got to follow. We may be in interplanetary space, but that's breaking all kinds of humanitarian laws. And it's gross. Hey, hey, you, uh, Bucky. Yeah, yeah, Bucky. Hey, listen, can you help me out here, man? I'm dying. Uh, what'd you do to yourself to get thrown in the brig, Horatio? But listen, there's something wrong with the ship, and no one here seems to care. You bet there's something wrong with this ship. Me, in this cell, for stealing four pieces of bread and some pudding and jello. It's crazy, right? God, I have more important things than this, like saving this ship. Hey, 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 where are you? Uh, and he's gone. Uh, hey, hey, you, uh, help me try and cut these bars with your knife. I ain't what this knife is used for, kid. Well, what is it used for? I cut a guy's throat, that's why I'm here. Uh, oh, oh. Critical alarm detected in zone 51. If I hear one more damn alarm again, I'm gonna go insane. Grandpa, can I tell you about my day? I'm trying to read my book, Penny. So today I was walking around the ship and I saw this room with some cool lights. There were these buttons on this board. I don't know what they were, so I just pressed everything. Then people came in and I ran. Penny, it's quiet time. So I kept running until I saw the other kids playing in the cafeteria. They were throwing food at each other, so I joined in. Penny, I mean it. Then I ran to the bathroom because I got mashed potato stuck in my hair. I, I tried rinsing... My hair in the sink, but then my hair got stuck in the drain, so I used these safety scissors to cut my hair. Oh, God. And then I saw Mr. Bucky shouting on and on about some worker in an alarm, so I had to go somewhere else. That's when I ran into the hallway and saw something sticking out of the wall. It didn't look like it was right, so I pulled on it, and I pulled, pulled, pulled. Now, Penny, I want you to leave me alone. Anyways, that's how I got this giant piece of metal. Oh, God, Penny, what is that? I told you already. Remember? So I was walking around the ship, and I saw this room with some cool no, light. No, no, not that part. I heard that part already. Why in the world would you pull that sheet of metal from the walls? I thought it was cool. Critical alarm in zone 51, in zone 13, in zone 29. Oh, this again. <laughs> what? Oh, whoa, what's happening? I'll push some more buttons, and uh, what's this switch do? I have no idea. Uh, a critical alarm in zone 13. No, wait, zone 26. Now in zone 9. Oh, God, why Why are there so many? Let me call Captain V. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Captain? Hello? Captain? Beep. Captain V didn't pick up. What What are you talking about? I'll, I'll send a couple engineers down to the belly and, and see what they can do. I, I can't even begin to understand what went wrong. How did this happen? Maybe it started with the alarm a few hours ago in Zone 51. So we... 
should have seen this coming. Oh. Let's go to the captain. They have they have to have a plan, a procedure, something. Okay. Hey, someone get me out of here. I can't die locked up like this. This is exactly how I picture myself going out. Dying in a cage just like the way I was born. Come on, man. Help me with these bars. It's useless, kid. Give it up. Listen here, you you criminal. I don't plan on dying in this flying metal tube through space without a fight. You'd lose that fight anyway. <sighs> man, where is Buggy when we need him? He said he was going to save this ship. And look at it now. Ship in critical condition. FOMOS, I don't know what we're going to do. This is confidential. Omit this conversation from your records. Yes, Captain. Look, we're in big trouble. I tried to communicate with Mars, but we're too far for help. Things escalated so quickly. Captain, the circuit picked up the air approximately 2410 on the seventh cycle of lunar Phobos. 18 cycles and four orbits passed before the... Yes, alarm. yes, yes, I remember. If action was taken immediately, the issue could have... Look, things were fine back then, or mostly. Anyway, I was up for authority rotation. I couldn't risk demanding we address the whole systematic error. I mean, it wasn't favorable in the polls. I thought things were going to be fine, that maybe they would work themselves out. I mean, didn't we reduce our overall output by 30%? Why wasn't that enough? According to the readings, 78.9% reduction was necessary to stop the triggering of alarms and to re... I know, I know, to relocate resources and reconfigure all systems. I get it. I was at the convention agreement, but... Captain! Captain! Code Crimson! Requesting permission to enter. Code Crimson. Permission granted. Captain, the breach has been locked down because of the critical alarm report. I can't control the upper zones. People are panicking. Everyone's freaking out. The alarms won't stop. I tried threatening them with the Briggs, but people are getting really angry. They're demanding an explanation. Captain, what do we do? It, it might be too late. Too late? For air correction or, or for... For error correction, for evacuation, for any alternative. But, but Captain... An error was detected cycles ago. Eventually, uh, I took some measures to correct it, but it wasn't enough. And admittedly, too late. And then something on the ship escalated severity, triggering the physical alarms. Or maybe it was just time. It was just time? For what? For critical failure? We're top-of-the-line swimmer ship, built to last hundreds of Earth-to-Mars relocations. Yeah, if it was taken care of. Look, okay, you make it sound simple, but... Prepare for shutdown. Critical failure is reached. Prepare for shutdown. I, I'm so sorry. Shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down. All right, good afternoon, Davis. We have a treat for you. We're going to continue on our galactic journey with a nice little radio play called uh, Aliens vs. Squirrels, or Squirrels vs. Aliens. Uh, it's going to be a nice little uh, throwback to Davis campus, so uh, strap in and get ready to uh, blast off into outer space. Man, always keeping me waiting. Oh. Who's keeping you waiting? Yo mama. Funny, it was good though. Uh, just wanted to talk. 
You just want to talk? Yeah. At 2.25 a.m. by the cows at Tresero? Bro, normal people go get boba and have a nice... Okay, okay, fine. A serious talk. I knew something was up when you sent me that sus AF Bruce Wayne type text telling me, meet me at the second street light by the cows. Speak your mind, fool. I just wanted to ask you... Hold up. Let me spark real quick. All right, go ahead. You done? Okay. So, you know how I was going to be living with Daniel and them next year? The guy that I was going to room in with backed out last minute. I have to find a replacement in three days. I was just kind of wondering if you'd room in with me. Man, sorry, it's bad, but I'm going to be rushing for a Delta Yoda Kappa, and I was trying to live at their house next year. My bad, bro. You know how it is. I don't know why I'm surprised. Should have expected it. Man, what you mean? You know what I mean. No, I really know. Don't know what you mean, because you never really tell me anything. Man, what happened to us? We used to be hella tight since AP World. Now all you do is party with suburban kids that think they're from the hood. Man, get out of here. You lame and you know it. This ain't high school no more. I can do whatever I want with the boys, you feel me? You mad that I'm just trying to, you know, get partying and stuff while you just be studying 24-7? Excuse me if I'm trying to be something in life. The only thing you're being right now is a big... Mm. You changed, man. Yo, mama. <laughs> man, why do you want to go to the cows of all the places? Smells like a comp... Sorry, lecture here. No one's here to see us. Cows won't judge us for the BS we argue about. They live their lives free of the problems we humans beings lose sleep over. Bro, you really think you're a philosopher now because you took one philosophy class? Get out of here. Mm. Is that what I think it is? Yo, a UFO? That's freaking sick. Are you kidding me? They actually abduct cows? Duh, everyone knows that. This is absolutely ridiculous. Real talk, though. At least we're not the ones getting snatched. Wait, what's happening? This dro is loud AF. That's what's happening. Got me feeling like I'm floating. We're actually floating! <laughs> Bro, this is sick. I can't believe this. This is actually impossible. Achuta. Oh my god. Yo, hey, Lamau. G twishas una super understand jis. English bish para bi. G ubrahish ba ubrajish. Tagwa? Bi gare. G orekira so bi na bi. Wait, what? How can you understand that thing? You know, I told you, I always be watching those sci-fis, like, um, ancient aliens, you feel me? Um, you know, I pay attention a lot. Why well, you gotta hate on me like that, though? <laughs> How does that even work? This is what... We, Uda, Uba, Misha. Chucky, uh, marijuana? Hey. Hey. Andrew, did you just dab an extraterrestrial? What about it? How about you do something useful, like ask him what we're doing here? Oh, gotcha. Shaka we ud uba nishu? Ji noka uta hapo. Ji na noka uba nana campus slang jish. You know, he says he needs our help. Uh, he just wants us to hit a lick on camps, you feel me? Why should we help? Pussy bana ma people depends no blow. He said his people are in danger. Will you please help us? Oh, hey, Universal Translator kicked in. What do you need us to help with? Place this beacon on the white mo monolith at the building to which you refer as Morak. It will beam the monolith to my ship, and that is all. Simple enough? Easy peasy, living breezy. Good. I am indebted to both of you. 
I shall leave you off at our nearest outpost in your campus. Whoa, where are we? Yo, is this a Death Star? They've been posting here for a hot minute or what? Honestly, after all this, I don't think anything is going to surprise me anymore. Let's just get this over with. You know, I feel like this is the most time we spent with each other in a while. I have a girlfriend. I'm serious. I mean, don't get me wrong, no. This is all stupidly weird, but I can't remember the last time we hung out. We just haven't talked in ages. I wonder why that is. I guess we just gravitate towards different crowds now. I don't know. You still on that? Did you ever think that even though we don't hang out no more, we're still the same type of people? It doesn't mean we could still be homies. We, Bro, seriously. Well, I mean, like, ever since you came to Davis, you've always seemed so caught up with all the new people you meet. You never bothered to hit me up to go, par to go party, study, or even get shots. I thought you forgot all about me. Oh, did you ever try to just hit me up? Like, you ever just feel like when I post, you know, all these different things with my new buddies and you post things with your new buddies, like, did you ever think to invite me? You might have a point. Damn, you're right. I do. Real talk, though, how are we the nerds when we learn how to, when you learn how to speak alien languages by watching? Shut up. Okay, we're here. Let's get this over with. I'm freezing. He said, put the beacon on the white monolith. Bro, what is a monolith? How did you pass AP English? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> You're telling me you never watched 2001, the Sp A Space Odyssey? Man, I slept through it. Never mind. White monolith. Uh, are they talking about the egghead? Shoot. It's gotta be it. The only thing whiter than that is your mom. <laughs> uh, ha, ha, shut up. That wasn't even funny. What, why do they even want an egghead? How is that gonna save their people? The longer you keep asking, the colder my unborn kids will get. <laughs> I did not need to hear that. I, I'm going to head out. I'm going back to Saguno to drop some tabs real quick. Uh, who threw that pine cone at the beacon? <laughs> what? Why is the egghead full of freaking acorns? Perry, look behind you. I need huh? not know if I'm tripping balls or not. <laughs> That's a lot of squirrels. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of rabies. We got a dip. <laughs> We're surrounded. Oh, we finna die, baby. <laughs> Step away from the smooth skins, you fuzzy friends. Can someone explain to us what is happening? Please leave the primates out of this, squirrel. They are no fault here. Bro, what are you doing? Squirrels can't talk. <laughs> Silence, you bipedal worm. Uh, uh, never mind then. For eons we have dwelt amongst you idiosyncratic troglodytes. For generations we have endured your repulsive neuroses while you mock the very silence we maintain for the sanctity of our civilization. You primates have no privilege, let alone mental capacity to pass judgment upon us. Uh, can I please go home? Do not mock the homo sapiens for their ignorance. We were the ones that planned this operation. <laughs> Is that so? As if trading with those grass-eating, milk-producing giants did not strain our relationship enough, you intend on stealing the very foundation of our societies? Lieutenant Yes, Commandant! Initiate Operation Chipmunk. Eradicate all extraterrestrials. Leave the primates alone, for they have not threatened our people yet. Affirmative, Commandant. You hear it in fuzzballs? Begin! Attack! <laughs> what do we do? Do we retreat? No. We will end this here and now. We will get those acorns so our people can persevere through the dark ages. We will fight! <laughs> I'm hella lost right now. Look out!
Stay out of the way, human. This is our fight. I, I'm gonna head out. Andrew, wait up. Yo, look. Rabies squirrels still on bikes. This is not happening. This is not happening. Wait, isn't that your bike? Wait, no. Stop. Stop. Monica. Onwards, comrades. We'll claim our victory. Die today with your claws around the throat of the opposition. Hoorah! We have to stop this. You crazy dog. I'm not stopping anything. Fine. If you don't, I will. Everyone, stop! 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 Get out of the way, you primate! Stop, the both of you, or else I'm gonna crush all the acorns. You wouldn't dare. Now, do I have your attention? Good. For the love of God, why are you two fighting? Human, it is not your business. You are a coward, extraterrestrial. Will you not tell them of our prior friendship? If y'all were homies, then why did you start smoking each other like idiots? During the era of Gunrock the Wise, we were once true allies. Together, we cultivated the lands to yield abundant splinter of what you refer to as acorns. Together, we had prospered as a symbiosis. What happened? We wanted to share our prosperity with the cows. Ever since the squirrels first caught word of it, they cut us off. Man, we were your allies. The spoils belonged to us and us alone. You betrayed us. You were collaborating with them to destroy us. <laughs> Nonsense. These cows were in need of some aid. We helped them. They were in the same position as, as us a century back. The right thing to do was to help. Hmm. As noble as they may be, your intentions no longer matter. Blood has been shed. Fur has been torn. We must fight to the death. So be it. Stop with the fighting. Both of you are idiots. How dare you! <laughs> Sir, maybe we should kill the human primates instead. You guys are really something. Well, we Shut did... Shut up! Shut up! You knew that you were wrong, yet you made us steal. You're just making everything worse. If you try to actually negotiate peace instead of using us as your pawns for your plans, this fight would have never happened. Actually, I like this guy. Can we recruit- You too! You know, you guys amaze me. With all your high tech and whatnot, you're all just so stupid. And jump the gun and assume the aliens are going to backstab you? Now look at where you are. What is your point, you hairless orangutan? Is that you guys are ridiculous. Look at yourself, like all this high tech and acorns while fighting over petty nonsense. What's the point of fighting when you can't just move on? Just being you guys are going towards different, sorry, just because you guys are going towards different paths in life, it doesn't mean you can't just be friends. Maybe he's right, squirrel friend. Perhaps we are all at fault here. You speak words of wisdom for one without a tail. Thank you, primates. We shall take our leave to live another day. Thank you for everything, humans. We are indebted to you. Take these cold ones as a token of our appreciation. Farewell. Hey, forties. Good looks. <laughs> hey, Andrew. What's up? Sorry for everything, man. This whole quarter was a train wreck. I should have been a better friend. Nah, nah, nah. You, you good, bro. I should have been there for you too, man. That's my bad. For real. We still cool, though? Yeah, we still cool. Always cool. Let's get turned up. <laughs> the end. <laughs> All right. So that ends our saga here.